That's the original CMYK document and the instruction from the printer is to convert it to three pantonings. So I duplicated the document because I can keep the original image on my monitor as a color reference during the workflow. Now I click on Process on my Retouch Express interface. Check the process plate contents. And layer information. The first step is that from double chocolate layer I create a retouch group and convert it to triplex which usually means I reduce four process colors to three. Now there's a little remaining cyan here but the point is that the other three plates are much cleaner now. I load the live selection of the dark chocolate and I'm going to change black ink to a Pantone red. Only within the selected area. If you don't need any of the other three process colors underneath, you can just uncheck these little boxes here. In the color list, you can hide the Pantone inks, plus you can reveal the original CMYK channels anytime by clicking on this little switch here. So let's move on to the white chocolate and find a nice Pantone ink for that too. I'm gonna use the yellow plate here as the source information. Pantone 124 will be good. Again, I check the new Pantone plate and I think I keep the original black plate underneath. Then I do not make any selection, meaning that I'm gonna change the whole black plate to another ink, a grey color that will help me to print out the milk splash in Flexo without too much minimum dot issues. As you can see, this job is basically done in less than 3 minutes. I turn off all the process plates to check the result. Obviously, you can play some more with it, trying different inks, setting darkness, contrast, but I would not bore you with that now. Instead, I just uh, check the dot gain in the highlights by turning on spot simulation, which is another very useful feature in Retouch Express. My minimum dot value here is 5%. This can be set in the first dialog box before processing the file. You can check that at the uh, beginning of this video.